Hello everyone. Today I'm going to sing a few verses from a famous poem called Madhushala, written in 1935 by Hari Vansh Rai Bachchan. My commentator is Freddy, who has recently finished an MPhil at the Center of South Asian Studies. It is in the process of getting to know Freddy that I have understood the meaning of these two lines from a song composed by Rabindranath Tagore. Tumar holo shuru. Amar holo shara Tumai amai mile Emni bohe dhara Em dhiral jane ko ghar se Chalta hai peene wala मदिराले जाने को घर से चलता है पीने वाला किस पथ से जाऊं असमंजस में है वो भोला भाला अलग अलग पथ बतलाते सब अलग अलग पथ बतलाते सब पर मैं ये बतलाता हूँ राह पकर तू एक चला चल पा जाएगा मधुशाला एक बरस में एक बार ही जगती होली की ज्वाला एक बार ही लगती बाजी जलती दीपों की माला ओ दुनिया वालों किंतु किसी दिन आमदिरालय में देखो आमदिरालय में देखो दिन को होली रात दिवाली रोज मनाती मधुशाला नाम अगर कोई पूछे तो कहना बस पीने वाला काम धालना और धलाना सबको मदिरा का प्याला जाति प्रिय पूछे यदि कोई कह देना दीवानों की कह देना दीवानों की धर्म बताना प्यालों की ले माला जपना मधुशाला थैंक यू वेरी मच प्रोफ फॉर द ब्यूटीफुल वर्ड्स फ्रॉम दैट पोएम फ्रॉम दैट सॉन्ग and i think in madhushala there are some beautiful lessons or not lessons but glimpses of a beauty that cannot be taught and i think what speaks to me most is the use of this metaphor of intoxication it cuts against the grain in the first instance because we normally conceive uh of the divine meeting the divine as something either done through abstract theory and proofs and complicated methods or through ritual and purification but here we have the meeting of the divine as something that takes place in the most intimate setting in the tavern when people are at their most most unvarnished and it is a place in which we put down our sorrows our difficulties tribulations and sometimes or well, often we think of it as perhaps an example of capitulation to these sufferings and to these sorrows and a satisfaction of want and desire but here we have the tavern we have intoxication or something completely different here it's an embrace an embrace of weary love with the divine perhaps it is not it is not that aloof divine that perhaps will grant us redemption but only through a thorough repentance uh and judgment first but instead one that meets us where we are and one that greets us as a friend
and one that does not brook divisions of creed or caste, but instead walks us home from from our intoxication and our nights at the tavern.